Hello and welcome to another FOSS Levers and Pulley screencast. I'm Jose Rosa, Science Specialist at the Mason Pilot Elementary School in Roxbury. This screencast will cover investigation two of the Levers and Pulleys kit, More Leverage. But before I get started, look in the background, try to spot any something different from the last screencast that we had together. And now let's move on to the screencast of today. Now, during this investigation, which is divided up into four parts, students begin exploring the three lever classes or the three different ways that they can set up lever systems. They then learn how to create diagrams of lever systems and use the understanding of levers to identify the lever class of eight common tools. Finally, students do the same thing using pictures of eight additional tools. A quick note, you will need the materials from investigation one for parts one and two but not for parts three and four. You will also need some common tools for investigation three. The common tools you will need are the broom, the nutcracker, pair of scissors, a bottle opener, set of pliers, tweezers, a hammer, and finally, students' human arms. Okay, let's get started with part one, lever classes. During part one, you will demonstrate and discuss a class one lever, a lever with the fulcrum in the middle. Now, some students will interpret the middle as the center. This is not the case. A better way to explain it to students is that the fulcrum is between the effort and the load. Students will then propose new lever, lever arrangements, guide the discussion, and ensure the students suggest placing the load or the effort in the middle or between the other two. As students suggest different arrangements, draw diagrams of them on the board. Follow the samples on page 11, but just remember, triangle for fulcrum, square for load, and circle for effort. Give students time to build and explore the different lever arrangements. If needed, show them how to place the binder clip at the end of the lever arm. After students explore, give the students the names of the three different lever arrangements, which are class one, class two, in class three lever. Use the mnemonic FLEA123 to help students memorize the basic arrangements. Just remember that class one lever has the fulcrum in the middle, class two lever has the load in the middle, and class three lever has the effort in the middle. And again, use the mnemonic FLEA123 as a way to help kids remind, remember the different lever classes. Now some key vocabulary words for part one are class one lever, class two lever, and class three lever. So that's it for part one. Part two has students extending their understanding of the three lever classes by first building two different lever systems for each lever class and drawing diagrams for each system in their notebooks or on the duplication masters. This is one of the activities where I don't use the duplication masters and I have students create diagrams in the notebooks instead. By the way, the reading selection that goes for part two is class two levers. Parts three and four are similar, the difference being that students use real tools for part three and pictures of tools for part four. For part three, they are essentially manipulating the tools, discussing which lever class they think each tool is, and drawing a diagram of the lever in the notebooks or in the duplication masters. Now, some students will draw the actual tool, but try to get them to draw diagrams instead. 
As I mentioned in the overview screencast, if I'm short on time, I would assign part four as a homework assignment. In addition, I have students write a couple of sentences in their notebooks explaining how each tool helps us do work. Part four, by the way, can and should be used as an assessment. Now, some final notes. The reading selection for part three is class three levers. The reading selection for part four is the inclined plane. And if you haven't done so yet, take your students to the schoolyard or playground and have them search for examples of the six simple machines. Okay, that's it for this screencast, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.